Gorod has been completely quiet since October the 3rd when they announced Gorod 4.4 Dev 3. This is literally the latest thing that we have from X or Twitter. Ah, well, uh, what we have pinned over here is um, the communication that they sent over here about the situation uh, of everything that had to do with the community management. And uh, we also have to remember that, well, all this drama of the community uh, started on September the uh, 27th. So actually, we are quite close uh, to something like uh, one month since everything started. So indeed, it is a lot the fact that Gorod uh, previously used to literally post or repost at least things uh, mostly on a daily basis, okay? Mostly every single day we were having something uh, new uh, in, the, in the account as well. Uh, there haven't been much happening uh, right here, so this is something quite surprising because I believe that this is one of the first times that this happens to Gorod because also we also uh, have to uh, acknowledge the fact that probably this is the first uh, polemic, the first drama that uh, Gorod uh, faces or well at least a drama that directly affects it because when the Unity drama happened when the running time fee they were actually benefi benefited okay so uh, from this thing of the of the post this is exactly the first time that we are seeing that Godot is having the community against it. So um, what I want to do today is to talk a little bit about the future of Godot, what we may see here being posted in the future days, what has also been happening in the last days, weeks with Godot in general, because there have been some things that aren't here on Twitter but are on other places. But first of all, why they haven't been posting here in Twitter for so, so long? Oh, well, the answer for me at least, it could be quite simple and probably you may already have thought about this. And it's basically that they are just thinking about everything. They are maybe thinking about an answer. They are, they are thinking about how to manage the community from now on. Maybe if they are thinking about... Um, firing the previous community manager or maybe they keep that community manager but well they uh, talk with the community manager and maybe adjust some things about how the work is being done to avoid any kind of uh, of these things that happened and probably also because they just they just want to let the water uh, a little bit like go back because uh, there has been a lot going on with a lot of forks uh, being created, uh, dozens of videos out there on YouTube, uh, giving their opinions and talking about this. Um, so I believe that definitely they just want to uh, wait a couple of days until everything uh, chills out a little bit so that they are able to uh, explain things or uh, give another uh, announcement when uh, everything is a little bit uh, more calm, okay? Because when they actually tried to calm the community or when they tried to, let's say, give an apology, if they actually wanted to give an apology, um, they actually screwed it up even more, okay? Or well, at least that is what most people say. So Godot tried to make up for the situation and instead of uh, making up for it, they actually made it worse. Um... So probably now they are thinking twice or even three times before uh, giving any kind of other announcement. So what we also know is the fact that um, even though all this drama started exactly on September the 27th, as probably the, the development of the next version, Godot 4.4 Jeff 3, like was on the go in the middle of all this, they ended up releasing this version. And if we actually go to this post, this was on the uh, 3rd of October. Oh, well, of course, here there haven't been anything. And well, usually go without would give us a version. It really depends, of course. But every something like 15 days. Uh, so probably they are also taking some time to even provide a better version. Um, 
because even I think that that in other situations they were even able to provide uh, updates once a week or once every 10 days so that was quite amazing um, and it wasn't like such a long time ago so for example here go, go at 4.3 release candidate 1 25 of July and here 1 of August exactly like something like seven days after um, but well now uh, from October the 3rd we no longer have any news of any release so probably they are also working on this and as uh, because of all of this drama maybe they are even trying to polish it even more even release something new that can actually make the community a little bit happy um, because well what you may know that already uh, what you already may know is the fact that there have been a lot of forks for example Redos okay Redos is just uh, one of the few forks that there are uh, this is the main one I would say I believe that this was the first one uh, and it is uh, the most viral it has over 20k of followers on Twitter for example so basically a fork is just a copy of Godot uh, they basically uh, forked the repository basically they copied and pasted the repository let's say and from here well they started adding uh, their, their their own things um, because for example if we go here actually there is an, a download um, but the download doesn't contain many things okay uh, it, it only contains like the rebranding basically the change in the logo a different theme and uh, i believe that's the the most relevant things and of course we shouldn't be expecting more than this because it, this project has only like been existing for a couple of weeks and uh, they are not even close to the financial support that godot has uh, as far as it is stated here they have no financial support at least uh, right now um, so the only way is basically contributing to the code base but you can't donate directly to them um, and also they have much fewer team members than Godot so uh, actually uh, developing this tool is much difficult than Godot and also another thing that is worth mentioning is the fact that a couple of days ago W4 consoles uh, was officially launched okay and just some days after w4 cloud uh, was also launched so basically this is the the tool that will allow you to port for consoles uh, everything built in instead of Godot, so you no longer need any kind of third-party service and everything is literally integrated uh, instead of Godot. so everything is super simple uh, and it's i wouldn't say like the official solution that Godot provides but well w4 is somehow like related to Godot the founders of Godot are behind this project so it is a, it is a completely different from a third party um, not only this but also they launched this other thing W4 Cloud that basically is meant to make uh, mobile games much easier because for example well here it provides a dashboard and, and many new features okay um, so it is also quite interesting and well they, they I believe that they also tried to release this as soon as possible probably they also had it like in the queue of development and probably it was going to be uh, released quite soon but well maybe they also tried to release it as soon as possible to try to make up for for their error um, but well that is all that, it, that has been happening with Godot and as soon as there is anything new in W in, the, in W4 consoles in Godot in their Twitter uh, or whatever I am going to be creating here a YouTube video so if you always want to keep up to date make sure that you are subscribed see you in the next one and bye bye